Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Shit Your Pants Wednesday on the DJB Productions Network. I'm your host, Matt Sunner, and I'm once again joined by my good friend and DJB Productions Network creator, Mr. Danny J. Danny. I'm still living at that talk. <laughs> <laughs> good doggy. I, nice can't doggy. Get through, I can't get through an episode without watching that intro and be like, oh. <laughs> He's so scary. Maybe I got a milk bone. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell. Make sure you're leaving some comments. We got some great uh, episodes here. Obviously, there's other shows on the network, too, but this one's a really cool one. Uh, Shit Your Pants Wednesday comes out every Wednesday uh, for your Obviously. Zoom to give you some recommendations. Matt, what is our recommendation this week? My recommendation for everybody to watch this week is a movie called The Ritual. And this is something that we're going to do this with all our videos. Uh, we're going to put links for IMDb in the description mm -hmm. because I know there are quite a few movies, if you look them up, that are called The Ritual. And we want to make sure you're getting to the right one. It's also why we go ahead and include uh, the cover art for the movie. Yes. What finger am I using? There we are. Yeah. Um, this movie is, uh, Danny, I'll tell you, this falls into the hidden gem category. Good. Good, good, it, good. It was, this was one of those ones. It was a Netflix original. Came out 2017. Okay. Okay. It follows a group of friends. Uh, in the beginning, we see them. It's a group of five. You only see four on the cover because in the very beginning of the movie, apparently these are a group of friends. Every year, they plan a trip. Okay. It's, just a, it's a guy's trip. They'll go somewhere, do something, and they always try and do something different every year. Okay. Uh, you know, they've been lifelong friends. Uh, in the very beginning... The, the one guy suggests that they go on a hiking excursion okay. uh, somewhere in, I believe it's uh, Sweden. Uh, again, I should, I should have written this down again because it's been a while since I did watch it. Um, mm -hmm. But it's somewhere basically uh, in the um, Norway, Finland, Sweden. I think it's pretty much Sweden, if I remember. Right, right. But either way, he's like, hey, man, this would be cool. We can go you know, hiking, camping out. And a bunch of the guys are all like, man, you know, really? But this guy is pretty gung-ho about it. Mm -hmm. And they're all hanging out at the pub discussing it. So they end up leaving the pub. And on the way home, the one guy is just like, hey, you know, I'm going to go into this liquor store and and grab, you know, some more booze. And a bunch of guys are all like, yeah, come on, man. Let's just get going, blah, 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 blah. And he finally convinces the one guy to go in with him. Okay. While they're in there, a few guys come in and rob the place mm -hmm. at some point. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, they're off to the side, whatever. Uh, these robbers, you know, they notice the the one guy, whatever, and of course they bring him. And without getting into the whole thing, this guy ends up getting killed mm. by the guy who's robbing the liquor store. Okay. And this guy is basically frozen. He's hiding behind a, a rack. He's frozen with fear. You okay. know, doesn't do anything because he's figuring. You know, because the one guy's kind of like, come with me. You know, it's almost kind of like if we kind of go at them together, with elements right. surprise, we might be able to stop these guys. Whatever. Right. Um. So you know, he's guilt and ridden. And, you know, they figure to honor their friend, this is what he wanted to do. The remaining four, mm -hmm. they go on this trip. Right. Uh, even taking, um, you know, some mementos of the guy in this picture and they end up going, you know, hiking this trail, getting to the top of this, you know, this little mountaintop, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And um, leaving, you know, some mementos, if you know, for the guy, whatever. And they have a little ceremony. Uh, on the way back to their lodge that they're staying at, because apparently the hike is about, it's like two days. It's almost kind of like you go out on the trail, hike, you know, camp out overnight, finish the hike, yeah. and come back. Um, one of the guys ends up twisting his ankle. Okay. And it, it's pretty bad. He's like, he can't walk on it or whatever. And they're like, well, here's what we'll do. You just stay here. We're going to go back and we'll get help, bring somebody back for you. His thing is, I don't want, I'm not going to stay out here on this trail and on this mountain by myself, blah, 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 blah. You know, but he also can't really walk. He can't make the hike that long. Oh, okay. They decide, instead of sticking to this trail, yes. what they're going to do is they're going to cut across these woods. Okay. Because, hey, it's a shorter distance. That's what I would do. Yeah, it's a shorter distance. It might be a little bit, you know, more difficult going, but it's still probably going to take us less time cutting through there than going on the trail. Right. What they don't realize is the woods are inhabited by a cult of people who worship this creature who is supposedly a bastard child of the Norse god Loki. Of course they do, and of course he is. Yes. 
course it is. <laughs> uh, uh, we they they first come along and they, they just and before you ever see the cult, they come across some weird stuff. They find yeah. this animal that seems like it's been hung from a tree, and not the way you would expect. You figure maybe somebody would have hunted it, but it's like it's been gutted and it's hanging out. And they're like, well, why would somebody do that if somebody hunted it? And even if they were going to gut it out here on the trail, why did they not then take the body and the pelt? And whatever? Right. It looks like it might be a bear. So it's like this is really weird. Has kind of like a real. That almost has like a Blair Witch vibe to it. Okay. 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 I like the Blair Witch. Or the Blair yeah. Witch was yeah. good. So you leave the original. Now uh, again, yeah, but this, the point is that this is not a found footage. This is not a found footage. So that's okay. just the overall vibe of of this woods. You know, of the it? woods is very yeah. Blair Witch. Got gotcha. uh, yeah. Feel to it. Eventually, you know, it's getting to be dark. Um, it starts raining. They're like, man, we got to set up shelter or whatever. And they're like, the tents. And, and, but it's like, oh, it's pouring rain. But they come across a cabin. The guy's like, I see a cabin up there. Maybe, you know, the people will let us hang out. You know, just, you know, get in out of the storm. Right. The cabin is abandoned. There's these weird runes. Now it sounds like Evil there. Dead. Yeah. 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 Now, most of these runes, are actually, it yeah. turns out I was looking at some of the trivia on it, are really based on actual ancient, um, you know, Nordic uh alphabets and whatnot so it's got some you know basis in fact there so basically what we have i want you to give the way the whole movie but yeah we don't want to give the whole movie but but the the base the basic is that these guys are out in the woods mm -hmm. they come across the people that are worshiping loki mm -hmm. and um, they're doing sacrifices and stuff like that yeah. and they they drop themselves right in the middle of a of a, of a crazy area and it just goes to show stay at home Mm -hmm. And watch horror movies on Wednesday nights. nights. <laughs> you see how it led right into this show? Yes. And then you go to friends and eat cheesesteaks and you, you make fun of bad movies. That's why you do that. Because who wants to be out in the woods with some satanic cult that wants to worship Loki and want to gut me in a tree? You know but what I mean? I, but so. I mean, it was, but again, and this is where I said this is definitely a hidden gem. I mean, I really love this. I mean, the, the production no, quality is good. The, the, the script is decent. What um, year did this come out? 2017 and again this was a netflix original so netflix, netflix does very very well with their horror yeah movies. they do and i just actually recently read they're they're expanding more into their horror collection that they, that's been a uh, obviously a gem for them for netflix yes. people are really responding well to the horror movies that they're producing so therefore they're like hey you know what we're going to produce more yeah. so netflix is going to be a major major supplier of a lot of great horror movies to come you yeah. watch and, yeah, and it, it's something that i think because i mean you'll you'll see that there are definitely some yeah. real stinkers on there yeah uh, but as as they're doing better and then the, you know they're being more profitable they're yeah. sticking more money into these and let's face it the reason why there are so many horror movies is because yeah. It does not take a lot of money to make a horror movie. No, it doesn't. So, so no. if you can, if you if you know if you put the right amount of money into the quality of your actors, your writing, your producing, directing, uh, and effects, you don't have to go over the top. I mean, you can make a decent money, uh, a decent movie, for not a whole lot of money. So what's going to happen is with this type of movie, based on what you're describing, this is one of those scenarios where. You're going to be eating your cheesesteaks, eating your chicken wings, eating your pizza, but you're not going to be making fun of the movie as well. You guys are going no. to be sitting back and enjoying every half. Yeah, th horror. this is one of the this is one of those yeah. ones where you're going, all right, because it's the the great thing they do about it is they obviously they keep increasing the tension because yeah. you know these three other guys to one degree or another really blame this other guy for the other guy getting killed. Oh, okay. So now, now like, some of yeah, so some I mean, so some of them are like. Well, so like, well, you know, stuff happens, you know, to get to a point where the one guy who, you know, who wrenched his ankle as they're getting deeper into this stuff and crazier stuff is happening to them. It's like, you know, we wouldn't even been here if you hadn't convinced him to go in that store with you. We would have been in Ibiza or we would have been in Vegas. And, and in reality, who they should be blaming is TripAdvisor. Because exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, they could have went the jersey and it would have been fine. You know what I mean? But, but I mean, yeah. it's really good. I mean, the, the, the tension keeps building. Uh, yeah. they, they do a real good job of giving you little tiny peaks of uh, peaks of the creature. You never really get to see it cool. fully until there you is a creature, end. which is good. That's good. There is a creature, and and I will tell you right now, the effects on the creature were done right. They filmed it 
the right way. They right. didn't get – they got close enough to it and so you see enough of it that you got the vibe of the creature yeah. without having to get in so close that they had to make it perfect makeup or anything else. And like I said, you just – you see little bits more of it. You know, eventually at one yeah. point you even see like it's – you're looking at a, a tree line and all of a sudden you see this thing move and you just got the general shape of it. Because cool. it kind of blends in with the trees and shit. And, I mean, it is great. I, I mean, find that we don't I have a. I got don't... to the end and said, "This is a great movie. I'm going to watch this again." I find that we don't have enough creature movies. I no. think for some reason, no. people no. people needed to be needed horror movies to be smarter for some reason, mm -hmm. and needed to hit them on an intellectual level. And this goes back to why I like movies like Cloverfield because I'm a huge Godzilla fan and stuff like that. And I just need a monster to destroy the city. Yeah. You give me that, I'm good. And you add that with found footage because I'm a big fan of found footage films. If it's done right, if it's done there's, right, there's, it's, there's, like, there's, it's, there's, it's, it's easy, like, it's wow. easy to screw up found footage. It's easy. It to screw really up. is because it's one of those things where everybody's doing one, mm -hmm. but it, you, you it, need something to make it unique. Give me a monster, I'm good. I'll I'll suspend disbelief and it's good. Like I said, I'm eating a big cheesesteak. I'm eating a, some chicken wings. I'm with my friends and we're making fun and we're having fun watching a great movie. Matt, this was a good, this was a good uh, gem to, to bring up to everybody. Yeah. I, I think again that, yeah, this is definitely one of those ones where you're, you're not going to be making fun of this movie. Very good. Very you're good. Not, Matt, this, this is definitely a good one. Check it out. It is definitely well worth your time. Take us uh, home, son. All right, man. Well, thank you, Danny J, for joining me on the show again. Of course, thank uh, you for having me. It's 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 great to be able to bring uh, you know this vision that you had so many years ago to the masses. Uh, you know, yes. you 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 are a you are a subtle genius. Subtle genius. Subtle Very genius. Subtle. Very subtle. You 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 you're you're just dumb enough to not get full of yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or take any credit for it. Yeah. Exactly. No, but seriously, um, you know, everybody. Please take this concept that this man that I'm so privileged to call my friend came up with as a way to have a great time with the people you care about you did, uh, yeah. without spending a lot of money. Yes. You know, yes, as you yes, get yes, older, yes, yes. You know, we have responsibilities. You can't always get out to the bar, get out to the club, but there is a great way to get together with your friends. And in the middle of the week, break up the monotony. You're halfway to the weekend. Forget about Monday and Tuesday. Have a bit of fun. Watch a good or a good bad movie on Wednesday. Get ready to possibly shit your pants. So until mm -hmm. next time, yeah. I'm Matt Sunner. He's Danny J. I am. On behalf of us and the entire DJB Network's production crew. Wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> DJB <laughs> Productions Network crew. There yeah. we go. There we go. <laughs> better if I get it right ordered. Hey, I'm half asleep still. Anyway, um, but definitely thank you, for, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. So this way then when we upload the new episodes on Wednesdays, yes. you'll have a suggestion. Give us your suggestions. Go to the comments. Tell us what you have seen, what maybe we should review. Uh, tell us if you've seen the movie, even if it's after watching it, if it was our recommendation, do you agree with us? Do you think it was as good as we said? Do you think it was sucky and why the heck did you recommend it? Or concur with us. I mean, did, or did concur with us. Whatever. whatever. Yeah, give us we your want to hear your here. we want to hear your thoughts. So until next time, thank you for watching. Make sure you got a clean pair of drawers. Do you smell that? I smell that.